Howdy YouTube family, it's Bolt CRNA coming to you again with another day's topic. So today we're going to be talking about how I got into nursing school. We're going to dial it way back about a decade ago and talk about how I got into nursing school and I want to hear about how you guys got into nursing school too, but let's get into it. So a lot of people are surprised when they hear this about me, but I actually took a year off between high school and college and did nothing. I, well, I worked. Uh, I worked at Hollywood Video and I worked at Walmart uh, part-time. And I just kind of floated around. I just did my own thing. I, I knew that I was gonna go to college, but I just wanted to be, I guess, a little bit rebellious and a little bit uh, selfish and to say, this is a year just for me. I'm not gonna do anything that I don't wanna do. I'm not gonna go to school. I'm just going to make a little bit of money, hang out with friends, although all my friends went off to college, so it seems like it was I shot myself in the foot with that idea. Uh, but yeah, it, it was pretty much a year that was a dumb decision and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone on to college. But at the time, you're 18, you're 19, you're brilliant, you know everything. No one knows anything except you and no one can talk you out of anything that you're do doing because you're so brilliant, they just don't understand that you know everything. So yeah, I, uh, I made that choice and then started college the following year. Now the other issue with college was my parents could not pay for college for me. Uh, my parents had four kids all in five years, and so we all started going to college back to back to every year. It was like another one went to college and another one went to college. And so my parents were kind of like, we're not gonna be able to pay for all y'all to go to college. You need to make good grades, make good choices, get scholarships and pay for work and pay for your schooling yourself. So that's what we all did. And when I went into um, my first year of college, I chose to go to a community college that was nearby where my father lived in Alabama so that I could live at his house uh, so I didn't have to pay rent or anything and didn't have to pay for food really. And then the tuition at that community college was like $90 a credit hour. So that's extremely cheap. I pretty much could do an entire full semester of classes for about 11 or $1,200 and I could also qualify for the Pell Grant. So the Pell Grant, for some of you guys who don't know, is a pretty much a grant for people who make a certain amount less per year uh, than like, a, I think it's like $40,000 or something if you make less than like 40 grand a year. Uh, they essentially will give you a few thousand dollars a month to, to pay for school. And so that would not only pay for my tuition, but I could also buy my books and there was a little bit left over for some basic expenses that I could maybe try and cover. So essentially, I got my first couple years, my first two and a half years at community college, my, all my prereqs, I got that completely paid for. So what my focus was during these two years was to make all A's, try and make really high scores, especially in my sciences, put all my effort into it. You know, I knew that I was getting the Pell Grant to pay for these things. I didn't want to squander it away. The only class that I will admit that I kind of squandered away and, and was uh, business statistics. That was the statistics course that was required before you could go to the nursing school at the local university. And I hated that course. I really did not want to do it. I struggled my way and limped my way along thinking that I could kind of phone it in the best I could. It was freshman year of college and I had not taken a lot of my other math courses yet. So I really had not been whipped into shape yet on my math. And I just kind of goofed off and it showed because I made a C and it was my only C on my transcripts. Now to guarantee that I was gonna be competitive for getting into nursing school, I took an extra course during this two and a half years of prereqs that was human gross, gross human dissection. So if at my school they had a dissection lab, which was unusual for a community college, so I wanted to take advantage of that. They had, um, they, they make you take anatomy and physiology one and anatomy and physiology two, and you have to make an A in both of those courses, and then they will allow the professor, they only take 10 students a semester for the gross dissection course, and the professor who taught that is the same professor who taught most of us anatomy and physiology one and two. So he knew us personally already, and he handpicked the students from those courses that he thought would do well and would benefit from having that course. Uh, and essentially that course was reserved for students who were gonna go on to grad school later on. 
Um, so yeah, they, it was a very difficult class to get into, but I got into it. I loved it. I was passionate about it, and it looked really good on my transcripts when I went and applied for nursing school at the university nearby. So the BSN program at the university nearby was notoriously competitive. How they accepted students was they essentially, they would have hundreds of applicants every semester and they only took 45, I believe, of those. And what they would do is they would take all the applicants and they would line your GPAs up at top and then all the way down the line and they would just take the top 45 GPAs and the rest of the people just didn't get in. So the rumor was always that if you did not have above a 3.5, you were definitely not getting in. Like the only people who got in had a greater than a 3.5 GPA. So I strove really hard to make good, good grades in my two years of prereqs. And like I said, I made that C in business statistics I know a lot of you guys reach out to me and say, hey, I made a C in this class or I didn't do well in this class and you think it's the end of the world. It's not, it's not the end of the world. You can make a C in one course or two maybe, um, as long as your overall GPA is okay. And specifically your sciences, you really don't want to see in your science courses because that's really what nursing looks at. They look at your science courses. Um, specifically for CRNA school, but even for your uh, nursing school as well. They're, they're mostly gonna be focused on your, your science courses. So yeah, overall when I applied, I think I had a 3.75 or 3.8 GPA, and I was a little concerned because I had heard from other people uh, that they had applied years prior with like a 3.7 and didn't get in because there was like 45 people who applied who had a 3.8 to a 3 to a 4.0 and uh, and so those people all got in so the 3.7s didn't so you know how everyone gets nervous when you're applying to nursing school just hoping that you're going to get in you're going to be the lucky one uh, and I, I was very lucky that I did get in uh, and it was a very competitive year I had a lot of classmates who were very very smart uh, much smarter than me and they they were really top students who, who really kept their GPA. Yeah, there was people who graduated nursing school, lots of people who graduated nursing school with me who had 4.0s all the way through the program. Um, so I don't know how they did it. I certainly didn't. Uh, I think I had a 3.33 when we graduated and I was happy to have that. But essentially I started my nursing program spring, or I started January 2010 and I graduated May 2012. So my program was two and a half years. Uh, my BSN program was two and a half years the way they did it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that is my story on how I got into, uh, not CRNA school, nursing school, my BSN program. Um, and it was quite the trip. And now when I look back on it, I think about all the people in my prereqs who took microbiology with me or studied with me for chemistry and things like that who applied to nursing school and didn't get in and then they applied the next year and didn't get in and they switched to like radiology technologist uh, program instead or maybe they did business or something totally different and so when you think back on it you realize like how many obstacles you've jumped through and hoops and and benchmarks you've had to meet along the way just to get to where you're at uh, it really makes you grateful for where you're at um, and it also reminds me of where some of you guys are at when you reach out to me and you're saying hey I'm just trying to get into nursing school and I've got this huge road ahead of me uh, from my point of view where I'm at now it's hard to remember that sometimes but when you stop for a minute and you reminisce back you realize just how much work it was and how uncertain it was and how fearful you are way back then at that point because you don't have a leg to stand on yet. You don't have a degree at all yet. Uh, you're not even a nurse yet. So you're just trying to hope that you can get into nursing school to one day become a nurse. So anyway, it just makes me grateful to, to take a minute like this and to think back on that. And uh, it also helps me connect with you guys and understand where you're coming from when you need my help. Well, all right. Thanks, guys, for strolling down memory lane with me and reminiscing about the year 2007 and 8 and 9. Uh, let me know down below where you guys are at in your educational journey. Are you guys doing prereqs, just hoping to get into to nursing school one day? Are you nurses trying to get into CRNA school? At what point in the process are you guys in? Maybe you're like 
in pharmacy school and you have nothing to do with CRNA, but you just like to hear me talk about CRNA. I, there are some of you guys out there, I know, because I've talked to you, so uh, I'd be interested to know some of you guys who are just totally different backgrounds. Some of you guys are from India, uh, Taiwan, Russia. I've gotten messages all over the world from, from a lot of you guys who are in a very different place, who whose path and trajectory is going to be very different from the average traditional student. So, uh, so sound off in the comments below. Let me guys know where you're coming from, and that's going to be bolt out.